for today's video is from our day 5 and day 6 of our recent trip in Shargao. It was April 6 and April 7. So April 6, we didn't plan anything grand but we decided to spend the day at the hillside resort located at the old tourism road in Shargao. We really love this place because of how serene and peaceful the places their entrance fee is 500 pesos pero magamit na ninyo as consumable to order drinks and food sa ilang restaurant and mind you their food options are limited but it's very delicious we've been here twice already nakaarami the first time the first time wadiha said mig shargao and i really told myself oh, mamalik juta dito because it's very nice and we went there na nasilay mga few upgrades and mga development <laughs> sa area so na nasilay second pool dito sa unahan but it was more of a jacuzzi type nga pool so very shallow lang siya and very kid friendly so we spent dugay dugay sa dito nga area but before that um nangaon sa me because we went there mga around brunch na to siya mga 10 am na manguro to so amo lang siyang timing na padung lunch anyway we had free breakfast sa among stay Actually, the can manjug resort sa Shergao nga ga offer og day use and same gani nga kanang bayad kag consumable and that you can order from their restaurant. But we stick lang jud nga stay sa the hillside because for one, we've been here, we love it here, and second, it's really near sa mo place. It's just a five minute motorcycle ride, so it's very near convenient ra kay siya namo. And by the way, um, there's no need for a reservation. Reservation. If you would like to go there, you can just go there and ma walk in. Delit run is a problem. And for you to be able to dine sa katujong restaurant nila nga area, you have to be dry. If gikan mo sa swimming pool, you're not allowed to go sa ilang kananan. So anahar ka sa pool side mo, alaw raman sila ilara ng iserve ilahang food na to. We ordered sisig. Oh my gosh, lami kay to ilang sisig. And something like pork pork, manguro to. Basta lamit yun kayo siya guaranteed. 100% I assure you lamit yun silang food. And after that, we spent the remain of the day swimming-swimming. Mone ilang bago nga pool area. It's very shallow so mga kids malingaw yun diha. Actually, nasa to'y foreigner dito na nanaw sa sunset. But wala kayo nakita ang sunset during that day because it was a bit cloudy. And after that, we went back to our stay around 4.30 and again, uh, we decided to ibili na mong mga things and we headed to uh, Baby's, Baby's, <laughs> Baby's Grill and Restaurant. It was our second time na sa dito and lami sa ito barbecue han. It's the number one recommended barbecue place. And after that, we headed for dessert. Of course, Halika, the last time nga dito make sure ga. Wala may nakatry sa Halika because of time constraint. But um, during that second trip, wala, dapat na dito makatry sa ilang Halika. And as in the best ilang ice cream, I'm an ice cream lover. So, wala have education. Daghang guys like flavors si pang offer. I ordered something. Alisu ka i pronounce yung names. So wala na ko na ko remember. But it was chocolate something. So, the next day, April 7, the day before me mamalik o Cebu, um, we have plans to go back to Magpupungko. But before that, breakfast, we went to Buntag, Shargal, recommended place in Isha. Dito na sanin ako na nakikita sa TikTok. Very useful kayong TikTok. And after that, we already headed to magpupungko. Paspasa ba rin ka video eh? So wala kayo may video while driving because layo-layo siya nga drive. It's in Pilar and wala may holder sa phone or wala lang. Padulam ko to siya in it. And mind you, if you want to go to magpupungko, you need to check unsa ang time sa ilahang low tide during that day kuan siya, ilang low tide was 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. So, pag abot na mo nga to, timing kayo siya nga kuan. Timing na dyan kayo, abot mo nga to mga 9 o'clock kapin, mga 9, 5 and 
nag-start pa lang dyan ng low tide. So, makita na ni mo siya. As in, I will really love this place. Ganahan dyan kayo kung balik dari. And thank you, Lord. Nakabalik dyan mi. And mo dyan ni siya rizo nga no, ng nigra mi sa island hopping and other things that we did with dyan ko ng lagom. Dari dyan ko ng lagom ang pag-ayo. So, yeah. There's an entrance fee but you don't have to mind the entrance fee because as in, dito dyan kayo dari. And, um, ano to muhang tour guide no nga regarding sa low tide dili na reliable ang kanang nasa Google or naa sa kanang calendar gani kanang low tide high tide nga information it's best to ask someone from Shargao kay sila kay baw unsa na oh, or when na kan na mag low tide or mag high tide murag ila nang i-base kanang ang dagan sa water or kanang weather condition something ina na nasa lawak sa bola na so yeah it's best to ask someone local sa Shargao before mo mo add to guys murag you can see the beauty of magpupungko basta low tide siya. We spent kajut lang dere, mga one hour kapin, enough lang nga enjoy na mo ang low tide because if high tide medyo kuyaw na siya, you really cannot appreciate the beauty of the magpupungko and naghanda sa kayo siyang tao and wala siya shade dere guys, so grabe makaitong dyan siya dere napita but if you're someone like me, nga hilig water, and awa ako anak enjoy kayo, so you won't have to worry about that, but expect mga lagong dyan mo pag ayo. If you're hungry after swimming you can head back and dito sa ilang mga unahan gamay ni mga pagkaon nga to na ray restaurant nga to if you're hungry so maka-order mo after that during that day ay nasa list scheduled nga power interruption so before may nanguli ni hapit na lang mi sa Villa Cali So, this is just within General Luna as well. So, as it's like consumable, we ordered food and then they can also use their swimming pool. So, this is what I ordered. Frankie had the chicken. It's like a jaffet. It's just like shrimp. We spent the rest of the afternoon swimming and waiting for their electricity to come back on. And after that, we only missed some homestay. We didn't went out to eat. We ordered lang mi, nagpalit lang mi glitchon manok dito sa RGGA, the first homestay that we stayed the first time we were here and cooked our own rice dito sa homestay to save money of course and after that ni balik me dito sa corner cafe because you know pang last nga coffee on the island and try their some of their desserts and you know muni muni lang oh last day na namo sa sugar but this time around murag wala na ko naka feel nga murag nakuwahan ko sa among time and murag di ko ganahan mo uli it was the trip was very satisfying and I think um, one week stay is really sufficient enough para malingaw ka and enjoy the beauty of Shergao. But for now, it's really time to go back to reality. Magkod kod na sada and hopefully we can go back. And yes, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!